Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, if you guys are sensitive to religion and to talks about religion and other whatever the case is, um, this video may not be for you. So I got baptized um, at age 18. I was 18 years old when I, I decided to get baptized at a Pentecostal church but yeah so I had depression and um when I was 17 and I basically I was very mad I was very tired of feeling depressed feeling a way that I just didn't want to really live and I just really hated myself um and um I was very mad at God and I remember <laughs> I wasn't really like talking how i'm talking to you guys but in my head i usually talk to him and i was basically saying you are real like people say you are like i was really losing my hope and i was like show me like make me me make that feeling stop make me not feel this way and as soon as i said that or whatever um it's like he told me, come search for me, like come, come to me. I was like, okay, I don't have nothing to lose. So, and so I did. I searched him. I, I started reading the Bible and I started to, um, you know, really get to know him and stuff. And all of a sudden, I remember this, like it was a week ago, um, I was you looking on YouTube because my mom, we, we couldn't go to church. My mom wouldn't go to church. So I kind of find ways to kind of felt like if I was at church. So I would put it on YouTube of a person preaching. And this back then, um, there was some Hector El Father was preaching. And I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, I was watching that. And then, you know, I was messaging my cousin. Um at that time and i forgot what i texted her and we were just talking and then all of a sudden as soon as i put the phone down i started to feel that feeling of i wanted to cry so bad like i just wanted to cry and i thought it's just my depression you know because that's usually how it happens you just feel like crying sometimes and and i usually can hold it but that time i couldn't hold it and i just busted out crying I automatically, without thinking, I generally just got on my knees and I was like, what am I doing? And it just flowed and I was just started crying and I was just like, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I was saying anything. Honestly, I think it was just the presence of God. I felt the presence of God. Uh, I closed my eyes and I was just crying. But it was a crying, I don't, it wasn't really of sadness. Um, and basically, God was telling me that, you know, um, he was always there for me. And he kind of gave me a little flashback of when I was sitting crying in my room at the other house I used to live. And he was right there. And I was just acting like he wasn't there. But he was, he's been here all along. And he was just telling me all these beautiful things. And then after that, I started crying, but of happiness, like joyfulness. And um, and I remember I was like this, right? And I was just crying. And um, all of a sudden, I feel like a, a presence. For some reason, something told me there was a presence, you know, um, at, at the back of me. And... I was like, oh my God, I kind of got scared to look. Um, and then I was just crying, you know, and then I kind of like went like this. And then I just went like this and tried to see if there was some something there and there wasn't. And and I just really felt like God's presence was there. Um, I don't know why I thought it was an angel. I didn't see anything. I just felt God's presence and I was just crying. And he was just telling me all these beautiful things, how he loves me and how he forgives me because I was asking for forgiveness that I'm sorry that basically I didn't acknowledge you, you know, back then and all these other things. And 
it started to rain guys um it started to rain and i think it was thundering too and i was like wow this is so like i don't know i just really felt god's presence and the holy spirit there and i remember my aunt had to come pick me up for some reason um and i was just crying i couldn't stop crying i felt this joyful this peace this happiness that i've never ever ever in my life have felt ever before and i just couldn't i couldn't i didn't want it to stop i couldn't get enough of it and um i just um you know she called i answered and i was crying she was like are you okay um or i don't even know if it was then but i just remember i got off the car i mean i got out the house i went in the car and she saw me she was like are you okay and stuff and then i told her what happened at first i didn't really want to tell her because i thought you know people were going to think that i'm crazy or that i'm i don't know and i told her what happened that whole day we went to walmart and i felt like literally like full inside because i was feeling empty inside i felt full of happiness joy peace and um very positive nothing was wrong with me i was just walking like i was in heaven basically i was just like you know and it was a very beautiful experience and ever since then i didn't even like but ever since that time um i really feel like my depression went away like he healed me he really did heal me because next thing you know i'm in a different place and then i'm like wait hold up my depression is gone i don't like how did it happen like in a blink of an eye next thing you know days months passed and i was like whoa i my depression has gone away and I just didn't realize it, um, not because I, I had the depression or I felt sad or whatever. It was because how it happened, uh, it, it just stopped. Rest in peace, my grandpa had died and he passed away. He he was the one that attended to that church and his people had came and basically check up on us and teach us more about the Bible and try to get us to go to church and stuff like that. And um, I remember they mentioned one time that they were like, we're going to have a baptism this Saturday or whatever, whenever it was. And they asked us if we wanted to get baptized, if we wanted to make that decision. There was like, there's no pressure. If you feel like you're ready, you know, we'll be more than happy, blah, blah. And I remember I was like, yes, that's what I was, that's what I've been waiting for. And that's what I, I just felt like that was the missing piece to the puzzle. That was one thing that I really needed, you know to make it complete and um i was like yeah and i was just excited and i remember my, my mom she said no obviously and she was just like you know i'm not ready and blah, blah blah she was like you know if you make this decision um it's gonna be hard it's not gonna be easy blah blah, blah. you gotta really dedicate yourself to it and everything i was like yes 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 so <laughs> you know i already knew what i was getting myself into um I let it know, um, you know, to everybody um, that I just got baptized. I made it public and I was like, I already know that I'm going to be judged about this, but I really don't care. And people will be like, oh, no, uh, we're not going to judge you. We love you just how you are, blah, blah, blah. But those people that said that were ended up the ones really judging me. <laughs> um, And that's the thing that I want to talk on, like, because I just feel like, you know, being a Christian is a journey. You don't. You're not gonna change the next day. You're not gonna be perfect. You're not gonna. You know we're we're all sinners, and you know just because I made that choice doesn't mean that I'm not gonna sin. I mean, obviously I'm gonna try not to, but um, it's gonna happen just because we're all sinners and we're all you know that's how it works and you know um so yeah and then um i really later on i think maybe a year or two passed by um i really got into the religion and i'll read 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 and um i kind of got to the point where um 
I was really I wasn't wearing any makeup at all and I realized that I was being more judgmental and I was literally I would judge everything about the other person because I felt like I don't know it just it was very I thought whoa like what is happening this is not supposed to be like this um so you know I started to read into and I realized that it was legalism to be able to believe that you have to not wear makeup or you have to dress a certain way and you have basically of your works you will be saved and that's not the case um you are not saved because of you know you're not wearing makeup or you know what i'm saying um so i i realized that and i was like wow like i stopped that um i just i was like i'm not i don't i don't like myself this way i was very very negative and uh so anyways the church that i was attending i stopped attending because i noticed some things that i just didn't think they were biblical and i just stopped going there and i basically focused on my relationship with god one-on-one -on -one without going to any church i would obviously um watch youtube videos and stuff and i just the holy spirit was the one really guiding me and helping me to grow spiritually without even attending church everything that i learned was because i read the bible and i studied the bible and the holy spirit made me um aware and i asked for wisdom and he did gave it to me and all these other things um all i know is that i believe in god i believe in jesus and i believe in the holy spirit man god knows my heart and god knows you know uh, a lot of people judge me because ever since i became baptized of how i'm wearing makeup and how i'm not dressed modest or how this and that you know um but i actually have some scriptures that i want to share with you guys that have helped me um all this time well for certain things so so for example john 8 7 says but when they persisted in asking him he straightened up and said to them this is jesus saying he who is without sin among you let him be the first to throw a stone at her and this was basically, um, I don't want to get this wrong, but people are going to throw strong at this um, adulterer or prostitute or something. Um, and Jesus was there and he picked her up and he forgave her. And, you know, and they were going to throw this a, a rock, a stone at her. And he told them that basically, if you are without sin, be the first one to throw the stone. And that's how I feel. Um, when people come to me, you know, nobody is perfect, even the most religious, the most Christians, the most, they, if they say they're perfect, they're lying. They're, everybody sins, regardless. So here's another scripture that says, James 4.4, 4, you adulterers people do not know what that friendship with the world is, en enmity, en something like, en enmity? <laughs> with God. Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy to God. And here's another one. 1 John 3.13 says, Do not be surprised, brothers, that the world hates you. So, this is why I care less that people judge me and um, actually being hated, you know, um, I use, I remember what the Bible says about how Jesus was even hated. So that's why I don't really take offense or when people judge me and they hate me, I actually feel bad for them. Um, but because Jesus went through it, people will call, people would think that Jesus was a witch because he created, he did miracles on earth and people will say that it was blasphemy and all this other stuff. Um, another one, it says 1 John 3.15. Anyone who hates a brother or sister is a murderer. And you know that no murder, murderer has eternal life reading in him. Wait, residing in him or residing in him. 
Sorry, guys. I'm really bad at reading certain words, but... So, um... Another one says... It says, Matthew 6, 14. If you forgive those who sin against you, your Heavenly Father will also forgive you. So, basically, um... The first one that says about if you hate someone, you're a murderer. Um, so whenever I feel like I'm getting bitter and I'm getting to a point where that kind of hate towards somebody, I look back into the last scripture that I just said. If you forgive, um, you'll be forgiven, basically. Um, so you have to forgive to be forgiven and... Um, that is my main motivation on why I keep it where I don't have hate towards others and I try to pray for my enemies and um, just love my enemies, love my haters, love, you know, all the people that do bad things to me, basically. Um, and that's just basically to have a peace, not just with myself, but with God and to, um, you know, because... You know, this this journey is very um, difficult, but there's the reward of every single thing that you do is way worth it. Like, it's super worth it. Um, I'm still, I still struggle with certain things. I'm not gonna lie, you know. Um, so, I mean, but what can I say, you know? Um... I, I'm just, at this point, I just feel like, like I said, I'm like a lust puppy when it comes to, you know, just my religion, basically. Um, so, if people would be like, oh, why you, you're a Christian, but you don't go to church, you know, um, people shouldn't care what I do, you know. Worry about your own, I worry about my own, and... I know my relationship with God, and I know how it is. Um, so, yeah, guys. I will see you guys in my next video.